The world of Undertale is home to many creepy sights and sounds. However, there are few more eerie and steeped in disturbing lore than the True Lab. This underground laboratory belongs to Dr. Alphys and is something many people miss out on due to its hidden nature. In this video, we will look at both how to access this spooky location and also examine its creepy inhabitants, horrifying backstory, and chilling secrets. So sit back, relax, and get ready to step into the dark side of Undertale with me, your host, Super Horror Bro Mike. First, let's take a look at how to access the True Lab. It's a long process, requiring the player to journey through the entire game with a pacifist playstyle. Essentially, this means never defeating any monster you encounter, instead we must spare everyone and finish the game with zero experience. In addition to this, we must show kindness towards other characters too. Go on a date with Papyrus. Give a dehydrated Undyne a cup of water. Return to Undyne's house at Waterfall and go on a date with her. Rack up 10,000 rating points during the Metaton battle and resolve it peacefully. After completing the neutral playthrough, if all other previous conditions have been met, when returning to the MTT Resort, you get a phone call from Papyrus inviting you to his home. Here you'll receive a letter from Undyne, which must be delivered to Alphys and this allows you to go on a date with her. This date ends at a garbage dump, and after it finishes, Papyrus calls up the player and advises them to visit Alphys at her lab in Hotland. Return to the lab and you'll find the previously inaccessible bathroom is now unlocked, and outside on the floor sits a note. This note is both mysterious and a little creepy, reading as follows. Thanks for your help back there, you guys. Your support means a lot, but... As difficult as it is to say this, you guys can't magically make my problems go away. I want to be a better person, I don't want to be afraid anymore, and for that to happen I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. If you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. Alphys was indeed involved in some dark experiments, and we will discover exactly what she was up to in the depths of True Lab shortly. Entering the bathroom reveals it is in fact an elevator, and one that jump scares us with a malfunction upon entering. This sets the scene for the horror ahead. Now with the power down there is no way to escape, we must push forward into the darkness. The first thing you'll notice upon entering True Lab is the creepy and oppressive music. Take a listen. Undertale is a game known for its catchy, upbeat themes, however a few pieces of music, including this one, are especially ominous sounding. The music here makes for a chilling atmosphere while we explore. It's not just the music that sounds so creepy of course, the entire lab looks and feels sinister. Everything is grey and murky. Mist and smog drift through dimly lit hallways as monitors flicker in the background, each spoon feeding us pieces of a morbid story about monster experimentation. Some of these monitor extracts take us by surprise as they contain abrupt, disturbing dialogue, revealing the anxiety and trauma Alphys went through while conducting her experiments. So, what exactly happened here? Well, if we read all the different monitors located across the lab, they form a story, one which is made clearer still when we finally locate Alphys in the power room. Alphys wanted to extend the life of monsters in the underworld. To do this, she isolated determination from six human souls and then injected this determination into a group of monsters who had fallen down. The final goal being to allow their souls life after death. 
However, things didn't quite work as intended. While the monsters seemed to recover and be alive and well for a time, they soon began to meld together, forming some of the hideous sights we come across during our journey. This melding process happened as a result of the determination injected into them as they lacked the physicality of a human. In order to avoid horrifying the families of these monsters, Alphys hid away her terrible secret from the world, keeping these melded monsters, now known as amalgamates, locked in the depths of True Lab, where she fed and looked after them. We also discover Alphys was directly responsible for the birth of Flowery, after she injected the golden flower containing the mind of Asriel with determination. Due to the circumstances of Asriel's death at the hands of the humans and this unnatural rebirth fusing monster mind with human soul, an evil and twisted creation was born, leading to the tragic tale which unfolds during the game. This discovery comes with a creepy visual. Instead of text being displayed on the consoles which provide this information, we instead see a red smiling face, one which resembles Flowery. As we explore True Lab, we encounter many of the amalgamates accidentally created by Alphys. These are all very strange in appearance and often downright terrifying to encounter. They are made up from previously encountered monsters melded together and so often share similar attack patterns and strategies. Memory Head appears from a sink, dripping out like a glob of water before transforming into a ghoulish apparition before our eyes. It's startling to say the least. These memory heads have a creepy attack, where they spawn a series of ghostly faces at the player. They also glitch at random and emit the sound of a dial-up modem while doing so. The memory head asks us to join the fun. It's probably best to refuse and get out of there. Next up is Lemon Bread. This monster disguises itself as a save point, luring us into a false sense of security before transforming into a toothy terror right before our eyes. Lemon Bread's appearance is horrifying, resembling something out of an SCP fan fiction. It rears up and opens its mouth wide as it yells out, Welcome to my special hell. The in battle descriptions for this enemy are quite creepy too. For example, you hear the melody of pulsating flesh. Lemon Bread is also the most sentient of all amalgamates. It remembers elements of its old self during battle if we speak to it correctly during the act menu. Endogony is a giant six-legged ghost dog who makes a highly unsettling entrance. As you can hear, the background audio during this battle is simply creepy echoey ambience. It certainly adds to the sense of otherworldliness and helps put the player on edge. During the encounter, we must treat this dog amalgamate in a similar way to our previous encounter with Greater Dog, beckoning, petting and playing with the beast. However, its reactions to our actions are as freaky as its appearance. It convulses, runs up walls and oozes liquid. Luckily, this particular enemy has a goofy and light-hearted end as its legs become cat-shaped and that familiar doggo music returns for its departure. One enemy which isn't so light-hearted is Snowdrake's mother, by far the creepiest of all True Lab inhabitants, especially if we consider her original incarnation. The audio is the most terrifying aspect of this encounter, which begins with the mother materialising from a refrigerator. It is a highly distorted and slowed down version of the track Snowy. At times, Snowdrake's mother gently calls out the phrase Snowy too, which means she still remembers her son and misses him after befalling such a miserable fate. 
the narrator begins to sound off kilter during this encounter as well, simply stating, it's so cold, over and over again. One of the most surprising and uncharacteristic elements of this encounter comes from our character, who begins saying horrible things when we act such as, you look horrible, and why are you even alive, and directs them at this deformed mother. And this is followed by the narrator commenting that perhaps we didn't say such things at all. It seems all sanity is slipping away at this point of the game. The final enemy we encounter is Reaper Bird, who appears from a mirror to attack. This humanoid looking bird creature can form many different heads and send them flying out to latch onto us. Creepier still, its head is often swarmed by flies, as if it's slowly rotting away and attracting insects to its corpse. These flies turn their attention to the player after they spent enough time feasting on Reaper Bird's head. We've explored the monsters, Alfie's backstory, and some of the reasons why True Lab is so creepy, but what we haven't looked at are some of its secrets. There aren't too many, but the ones that do exist sure are spooky. When entering the room full of beds, most of them simply provide the description, it's a bed. However, move to the bottom left bed, and our character will climb in to sleep. After a few seconds, the following ghostly scene unfolds. It's pretty creepy. This giant machine is known as the DT Extraction Machine, and was the enormous device Alfie's used to extract determination from the six human souls. It looks suitably demonic for such a task. However, the scary part of this machine comes from a comparison with Flowery's final form at the end of the game's neutral run. It seems Flowery based his evolved form on this very machine, a machine which gave him his powers. Was Flowery planning to take over humanity using this very device. Another easter egg here comes when comparing San's laser beam attack also to this DT machine. His guns on Genocide Run match the design closely. So were they also a creation of Alfie's or did San's help her design this great machine? After all, he does have a lab of his own. Finally, the freezer room has a few eerie secrets of its own, but only if we visit it before turning on the ventilation system. Blindly fumbling around in the mist of this chamber reveals a selection of thoughts from our character. Some are creepy to say the least. There's something here. It feels like breathing. There's something here. Something in the shape of a man. Of course these objects turn out to be refrigerators, however the middle fridge seems to have a life of its own, even though it's apparently empty. What is causing this? We'll never know. This video room is host to one of the most disturbing revelation in the entirety of Undertale's story. These tapes cannot be watched, but instead we get a description of their contents. They begin pleasantly enough, showing a window into the family life of Asgore, Toriel, their child Asriel, and the adopted fallen child. However, from tape 3 onwards, we learn of a dark and twisted plan devised by the two children. Asriel and the fallen child plan to escape the underworld by collecting six human souls and breaking the barrier. But to complete this process, they were required to take their own lives to fuse as one as this was the only way to cross through. We learn this information while playing through the game ourselves. Asriel and the fallen child plan to do this by eating poisoned buttercups. The final video shows Asriel regrets his plan as his human sibling slowly dies in his bed, setting the tragic tale of Asriel and his journey to the surface world in motion. It's pretty morbid stuff. 
It's finally time to leave True Lab, and I'm sure you'll be glad to see the back of this creepy hidden location. Perhaps you've enjoyed revisiting it in this video, or maybe this is all new to you, and if so, I hope you've had a fun time exploring the darker side of Undertale. Before we leave, let's experience the final scare, as a creepy unknown voice bids us farewell. Many believe this is Flowery communicating directly to us via the phone. Others think this could be the voice of a mystery character known as Dr. Gaster. We will probably never know for sure. The elevator to True Lab is now sealed by thick vines with no way to enter ever again, and the atmosphere remains silent until we leave the area. One final ominous farewell. And that's it for today's video, please remember to give it a like if you did enjoy watching, and maybe drop a comment too, as well as subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications so you never miss an upload. This channel specialises in variety horror content, including creepypasta readings, horror gaming facts and theories, and general interest pop culture horror videos. So, if you are interested in all things spooky, you'll find something to enjoy here at Super Horror Bro. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.